Hello, hello everybody. Today we are going to be continuing our Age of Calamity playthrough. I got distracted by things so I didn't do any immediate grinding. So let's begin with a quickie evil evil monster monster thing. Ah, oh, we can play as Master Koga. We'll give him a chance. I'll fit here. Give me seconds. Since we have Master Koga! Let's see. In a nice controlled environment. Give him a shot. As we beat up at least one vicious encounter. Then we'll try to do a bunch of side quests. Get materials and money. And then, who knows? Maybe do some of the EX memory missions. We'll see, we'll see. Oh, it'll also be interesting to see where Master Koga ends up in the lineup. Let's see. Master Koga's stress builds up by using strung attacks. If the stress reaches max, he'll throw a brief tantrum. Kind of like Xant, in to a degree. So I guess we have to use his special attack. Definitely fits him. Down here in the back. <laughs> his walking animation's hilarious. Ah, he gets carried! <laughs> That's hilarious. That's his ult, but then he throws a ball! And then he creates a clone! What the fuck?! High stress is it a laser beam?! What do you mean that high stress is a laser beam? But let me definitely take a look at your... Oh, and they're mashable. Okay, I'll have to see. Oh, he's, he's not even... It's not, he's not even using the... Uh, like, uh, what is it? There's a slate. How dare you hit me? Uh, quit throwing people at me, you fiend. <laughs> and then his minions come in and beat. That's hilarious. That is, that is, this guy is great. But the fact that he's a frickin' laser beam as a... Like, I know that the Sheikah can do that, but first off, this is Koga. And he's a Yiga. Very cool. And he makes them go faster with bananas. It's great. Just very impressive compared to what he was. Ooh, and then if you really mash them, they go even further. Then I create a clone. We beat each other up. That's just so good. I like that. I think I might really like Master Koga. What even the fuck hit me? Oh! That's weird. I guess Meteo Wizrobe is different from the normal other Wizrobes and they're like buh buh buh. Slate rune weak points. Interesting. <laughs> I like that he freezes himself, and other Yiga clan members just jump in to beat up the enemy. Oh my god.
Too many enemies up in here. I'll just blast you then. There's way too many enemies up in here. Way too many enemies in here, and in a bad camera place. Well, well. It looks like I came out on top. But who's surprised? I am me, after all. Koga's very interesting to play. Very much like that. I like it when they have joke characters that are still good to use. Joke characters that are actually viable. Now those are top tier. And let's see. Up here we have Request from the Lab. That's a high level. Anti-ice training. Really, I should be going by the recommended level thing, because we have lots of these. Fruits for the Princess. Impa and Link venture into the forest to gather the ingredients to make one of Zelda's favorite meals. They'll need a variety of fruits, including bananas. And where one finds bananas, there must also be... <laughs> Yiga Clan. But since we're here, we're going to go ahead and grab fortified flail so we can try and make flail time. This looks quite flail sweaty. progress. Let's -a go. It looks like a terrifying, like, torch staff where it burns at both ends. Yep, we can copy enemies' weapons with our flails. I think that's the main thing we have to do and do it like 20 times. So basically, use it at every opportunity and then just flail it around. Would be horrifying if it's like diff 20 different weapons, which, Jesus, that's like an Easter egg hunt of weapons. <laughs> Give me your club. Your club is mine now. I guess you can just follow me because I'll just be using the, the flail. Get blasted. What happens if I do it to you? Oh, I have to wait for it to charge up and we just need to collect fruit so we can take our time look at my flail how dare you hit me illegal five million years and I wonder why only one of you shot at me I'm mostly just interested to see what happens if I try ah oh, it doesn't work on <laughs> on bow people sadness Understandable to a degree, but sadness. Because I think that would have been cool. Just hitting people with the bow, sending arrows out at random. I just think that would have been neat. Huh, something try to attack me? I guess the moblins from behind. One second, I'm just <laughs> waiting for my thing to come back so I can grab a hammer from you. How dare you? I respond with anger. In fact, let's just go ahead and do this. Because we can. Get hit with hammers. Unique hammers. our way through. Wait for my grip power to return. I'm going to take care of you because you are meaningless to me. 
Well, I can just... I'll take your spear. Well, then you just die. How dare. And what other monsters come angry that we exist to do things? I'll just use my special attack. Get obliterated. You know, it's been so long since I played, uh, like, uh, the normal, what is it called, Hyrule Warriors, like, Definitive Edition and Wii U. I forget if, like, yeah, because I think it was also character to character and not bound by weapon, because I was thinking of, like, the special attack meter and how at least it would have been mean for Link if each different weapon required a different, like, a uh, special attack bar upgrade would have been very mean. Not impossible, but mean. Because it's been a while and I was trying to <laughs> visualize the menus in my brain. And I'm like 90% certain that the menus were, like, for that part, definitely for character and not weapon. A nice moblin, huh? I'll just do this. I guess they put that there, defeat the electric moblin and key enemies. Uh, specifically in case you just ran by every monster like, no, no, no. Go fight the moblins. You go fight them. It's like I'm boxing. I take your weapon, and then I just stunlock you in the corner for eternity. How does it feel, freak? Ah, no minion to kill. Monster, oh, well, that was actually unique dialogue. It was probably something along the lines of, the properties of the fruit must have uh, <laughs> attracted the monsters. Ow. Check. Yeah, one second. I take this, and then I break your weak point. Destroy this absolute congregation of bokoblins. Ah, you want to come over here? Come slam into that. Thank you. I would have been mildly upset if you didn't. If you dare be like, oh, I'm going to activate my rune weak point attack. And just be very, very far away. And then just not get close to me. I would have been very mad. I don't even know what happened there. I think I ripped up the ground like Saitama in death battle and slammed it into him. Oh, oh, oh yeah, because the bananas. Prepare to die! You dare have bananas! Oh, there's a lot of them. Or did you teleport? I think you might have teleported. Let me see. Give me a weapon. Do that when I can just annihilate you with my own power rather than your weakness. And now I will annihilate you with your weakness. Ah, I grab the ground, but I pull out like a giant metal ball and slam it into him. Goodbye, Yiga Clan. Extra hilarious now that I have your boss on my side. Oh, Suga! Very rude. Triply rude. Hey, that. 
time I will banish you from this plane of existence. You can just say you're gonna kill me at that point. I beat up your friend in the smoke cloud. Wonder, do you have like a unique weapon for me to steal from you, Suga? I think that'd be neat. You know what, I'm gonna get away from the corner so we can actually have a camera for this fight. Oh, let's see. Ah, oh, just one sword. I think. I will counter your counter. Well, actually, no, it does take the model, but just not like... I don't have two of them. Still neat that it actually takes the model, though. Yeah, run into my block, idiot. Get bombed. Yeah. Get whipped with flail power. Oh, that was close. Ah, your attacks hit it, therefore you die now. I do like the Yiga clan music. It's nice. The fruit has been taken home. The fruit is secured. We managed to get away somehow. We must hurry and deliver it to the princess. And now the princess can have all this fruit. Let's see how many, like, absorptions I got for the flail. I think we started at, like, none, so 11's pretty good. Now, I think what we'll do, hmm, like, maybe I'll go to the higher level side quests and, like, select a few for, like, Link only so that I can, like, uh, try to force the flail diddly D. Zelda special attack gauge upgrade requires a lot of monster guts. Princess Zelda wishes to determine the ideal habitat for an endangered flower species, the Silent Princess. Collect some materials to aid her research. Such as lots of monster guts. Princess Zelda used the materials to move her research forward a step. Surely there will come a day when the Silent Princess is no longer under threat of extinction. Now we're almost like... We get a few things, like we might be able to. <laughs> like, I think. Yeah, we have plenty, so I guess we could get a bonus hearts for the great fairies, even though I don't use them. If only because we might level up Central Hyrule. Oh, but there's also EX Sheikah Slate ability. Ooh. And it takes a. It's I just need you. to see. <laughs> yes. So we could increase the Master Cycle attack power. Well, it doesn't take anything. Ah, uh, it's specifically calling for a... For a Baba Daba Claw. And it doesn't call for anything else. Also, Claws. You require another Vicious Monsters. This doesn't seem to call for anything too egregious. So yeah, we'll get Max Master Cycle Power. Especially since that's another thing we need to level up. Or like, uh, use, more like. The princess is most adept at handling the master cycle, but it just wouldn't do to allow her to come to harm. Imagine the budgetary implications! If only we could make it even safer. Hmm, good work. 
I was able to improve the overall safety of the cycle. The tweaks I implemented also made it more useful in battle. Huh. The attack power of all Master Cycle weapons have increased. All of the weapons, you say? Obtain Master Sen Sentinel Cycle. Also doesn't take much from me. I just can't get over how dangerous it is to have our princess writing new tech based on ancient tech. I must do all I can to make this device as safe as possible for her. Amusing. Fantastic. I finished my modifications to prioritize durability and rider safety. Now the princess can ride right into danger without a care. Oh dear, oh dear that doesn't sound good, it does it. A vehicle weapon created by the Royal Ancient Lab. Based on Divine Beast destined for a hero and described in ancient text, this upgraded version favors stability and rider safety. Hilarious. And then here, yeah, we just need to use the Master Cycle in combat more. Can't even do that yet. Thanks. Yes, quite. <laughs> yes, quite. That requires two. Oh yeah, but Alpha, we can come up here to do the enhanced Sheikah Slate ability. Kind of does hurt to get rid of a vicious blah blah blah, but we can just. I'll just need to grind those more, for I'm a fool. Some researchers need data from fighting against specific enemies of the Sheikah Slate. Collect records of the battles against the specified monsters. And hilariously, it just. Calls for Malduga specifically. Everything else is uh, general. I refuse to be anything less than. After capable. analyzing the Sheikah Slate's functionality against those monsters, the research took a giant leap forward. Princess Zelda was pleased that her fighting proved useful. Add new attacks that your remote bombs can uh, perform while under your control. Oh, I, I guess that makes sense. And then up here, we have Request from the Lab, which is a very high-level one. Here's another EX for in Robbie's study. Hmm. Then again, like, doing that could... That gives me a specified thing as well. I'll go ahead and use this for more flail practice. Try and get that leveled out. Especially because it also gets me a upgrade diddly dee the uh what is it called? Guardian Claw for the Royal Tech Lab. Blue, white, rabbit-shaped spirits have been spotted. It's said warriors skilled enough to strike one will be rewarded. I haven't seen any bloopies. That's true. Oh. Okay, beat them all except the target monster. Got it? Except for the target monster. Oh, I was waiting for the door to open. Oh, I guess it did want me to go. Okay, all except target monster. Huh. Dang it. Hey, quit hitting me. Illegal. This is interesting. All except the target monster. Yeah. Alright. Defeat all except the target monster. So the one that is targeted is not one that we want to actually hit. Very careful. Well, they're gathering up. <laughs> kind of hard since they're all the same thing, like with the other one, kind of easy. This one, not so much. Well, that's 
still maiden. Let me take your sword from you. I'm gonna do your flailing. Oh. Maybe this. Ah, uh, good. Let me get rid of you. Very slow, but he gets decent damage. There we go. Your little evil monster is all safe and sound. Defeat electric and ice wizrobe, so I'm gonna guess there's a fire wizrobe up there. Don't need to be careful about. Oh, perfect. I wonder. Very rude game. Again, very rude. Luckily. Maybe. Go ahead and hopefully one shot you. Oh, now you add another one on. Defeat the fire wizard. All these attacks being rained down on me. What the, even if there was. Did you really, like. Technically teleport in front of me even though you visually weren't. That's bullshit. Okay, that oh. quit being a bullshit asshole game. It's like spawning attacks on top of me, I swear. Luckily, that pushed him out of the way. <laughs> and of course, you went right next to it because you're an asshole. <laughs> Game. You please go away, Medio. Very frustrating with rope. Would be stun heavy shit. Fuck off. A very annoying battle one. It's mostly because of the whiz robe one. Luckily they made it a medio whiz robe. So it was higher level than like the other whiz robes and therefore slightly more durable than them. <laughs> but I had to eat a lot of my Healy apples. That was just ever so slightly annoying. I want to kill all the monsters, not leave them alive. Let's see. Up here is territorial battle. We can maybe use this one for, like, training up other characters. Let's see. It's been a bit since I played Tiba. Latest Tiba. And Sidon. I want to play as them. Let's dive right in. Marvelous. I second that. And this after upgrading all the apple things, you still cost an arm and a leg. Absolutely insanity. And I forgot to read the battle descriptor. They're not as good as the, like, uh, upgrade descriptors, but it's still sometimes nice. Like, the description for the one where it's basically Rivali was smack-talking Link in front of Sidon, and which led to Link being forced to run the gauntlet of basically everybody and fight them.
and this is capture all outposts. Sure thing. In fact, let me see, because I think we got a new combo. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Whoa. Oh, that's so cool! Oh, I like that. Oh, that's good. I enjoy that immensely. That is genuinely so cool. I don't even know what I need razor claw crabs for. But that is still just so... <laughs> he sends it out like a fishing rod! The personality on all of this is so good. Man, I just love this game. Oh, I, I, I stunned you. It's like your magnesis attack didn't go off. Booyah. I did it. That you did, Sidon. Oh, and I just accidentally got out of it. Last you a bit. I just, this game is so good. The personality is just great. Oop, big monster. Big monsters. What? Exactly. What? Yeah, throw a magical another outpost at us. I still like this wave clear on the move. To flee would bring dishonor on the Zora. I will not allow it. That's great. So, <laughs> it feels just so powerful. I love it. Just blast, 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 blast. That did the trick. How dare you hit me? Illegal. What about you, Sidon? Oh, that's extra illegal. Well, you though. Yeah, you hit me. Dang it. I'm gonna get out of the corner, please. Thank you, uh, Broken Tree. You saved me a bit. Oh, that's so big. Such a wide area. Ah, flurry rush out of nowhere. And now that flurry rush. Let's see if this obliterates you, if you'll survive. Booyah. We just utterly... Uh, uh, the final, like, heavy attack, I assume, for Tiba.
That's so cool. Just staying in the air, blasting them. That you can just move the cursor around. It's just so good. Completely, utterly lovely. I just really, really like it when heavy attacks and combos just have a nice impact to them. They're just so good. Open a new heart. Which we can upgrade. What is it? Reduce enemy damage even further. You received an offer to help of help from the finest blacksmith in the kingdom. She says she can upgrade your armor for the battles ahead, as long as you bring her a couple of monster parts. Luckily, I have gone on a Lionel killing spree lately. Oh. The blacksmith reinforced your armor. Though it looks no different than before, it is easier to move around in and more resistant to incoming attacks. And plus we get Topaz Earring. And Central Hyrule level 3. Woot. Side in the special attack gauge plus one. In recent years, rains in the Nehru region have drawn reclusive creatures out from their haunts and hiding places. Use some of these creatures. Oh, pretty. <laughs> Everything is just bad in my throat, in my voice. It doesn't want to be existence. Use some of these critters to make a care package for the Zora troops. And that will give us a nice bonus attack gauge for the boy Sidon. The Zora soldiers, preoccupied with their daily routines, protecting the domain lately, appreciated the care package. I just completely annihilated that entire structure. They swore they would protect the land that had fostered this bounty. From YouTube chat, hi. Hello, hello. We are doing some upgrading. Oh, a bow, bow of light bonus combo. On a visit to Zora, Zora's, I don't know why. The pronunciation that my voice immediately wants to go to is just completely wrong these past few readings. What is wrong with it? On a visit to Zora's domain, you learn that King Dorafan is seeking resources to shore up his community's defenses. Perhaps you can help. My last three luminous stones. He took them all. The Zora used the materials you provided to bolster their defenses. King Dorafan promised to repay your generosity with additional Zora support in the battle against Calamity Ganon. I know it's not, but it would be amazing if that actually had a tangible, oh, there's more Zora in the final battle and stuff. like. Because the other ones also have similar things like, oh additional Goron support and stuff like it would be neat but I doubt that that's an actual thing that feels like it would be a lot of work to put in for minimal like I'm trying to think of the word of like oh yeah that is very very good go ahead and get this knocked out you're invited to join the Gerudo as they practice for the fight against the Calamity Ganon so, bring along some special cooking ingredients. I refuse to be anything less than capable. The meal left the Gerudo satisfied and raring to go. They threw themselves into the training with gusto. Pleased, Chief Herbosa promised to lend even more Gerudo support in the final battle. In a way that's kind of hilarious. It's like, she's gonna be there, you'd think that she'd want to bring... Well, I guess it depends. Entirely possible that she might have gone... Oh, I don't want to risk all of my people. What if things go bad? But I think Urbosa would be one to be like, No, we will win this. Throw everything into it. Oh, and before I do that, I think we... Oh. Yeah. Hardy Durian. Oh. I'll take them. Oh. And I think... It's you. The... Yes. We can do you. We get Ancient Bladed Flails. And this shouldn't take much of everything, so we can just potentially see what these two have to exist, I assume. Oh no, cuz, I'm trying to think, probably, we'll just see. The Guardian Flail developed from a Guardian's Claw. There must be a way to unleash its latent potential for a more offensive focused generation. 
The new flail is complete. It has been outfitted with blades derived from ancient tech. I could gaze upon those blazing blue blades for eternity, hmm, but I will not. Improved version of the Guardian Flail, blazing blue blades crafted with ancient technology. Hmm, I wonder why, oh, because, no idea why when we did this one, this one didn't open up, but when we did this one, this one opened up. I guess, I don't know. I know that the general rule is, like, you need to complete all of the things that are connected to this, so, like, to get this one, we have to do that one and that one. It's just interesting because, like, they're just multi-connected. I don't know. I am a fool. Use flail to defeat a thousand enemies to increase flail attack power. And it should just, like, normally go go. Don't be a stranger! Some new EX Link stuff popping up. Buy all your hearty durians. <laughs> More bonus combos. But I'm not really gonna dedicate myself to the... Like, uh... The flail. I'm just mostly doing it to unlock more... Like, spots. To do things. Oh, but I guess... Hmm, we'll quickly check the available vicious things. Breach of Demise, maybe. That one's really hard. Hmm, Great Hyrule Forest, the fact that it calls for two. I don't think so. I guess we can grab some bonus hearts from Mipha. And Sidon. Imported goods. The general store, Coral Reef, has been selling its wares in Zora's domain for generations. Its owner wishes to entice Zora shoppers of goods from far-off lands, but needs ideas of what to sell. Have them all. I am stronger than... The owner, delighted with the selection of imported goods, said he would look into them right away. It seems that some exciting new additions are coming to Coral Reef's production lineup. Let's see. Yeah, we can spare these to give more bonus hearts to Sidon. A group of Zora children fascinated by stories of life in the desert are eager to learn about the Gerudo. Find something that might sate their curiosity. I seem to have improved. The children were awed and delighted by the souvenirs from Gerudo Desert, sowing seeds for a promising future of cooperation and cultural exchange between the Zora and Gerudo. Well, we have free spaces for that. Let's see. Are they all just bonus hearts? Then it doesn't really... It's not the most important to put them down. It's like, ooh, I need to do that. But I guess before I forget, let's do these uh, Varuta. Or just like all the, like, Divine Beast missions. While aboard Varuta, Sidon discovers a horde of monsters... The monsters cannot be allowed to pass and threaten Akala Citadel, so it falls to Sidon to control Varuta and engage them. Let's a go! Let us pilot the divine beasts. <laughs> Swat down the attacks using L. Oh, I don't think I knew that. Back and forth. Hmm. Oh, it's a shield. Did not know that. Defeat many enemies. This is where your journey ends. To flee would bring dishonor to the Zora, 
I will not allow it! Probably should use... Yeah, that more. Varuta, though I am not a champion, you still in me your strength. I am humbled and honored. Use a special attack to cancel taking damage. Up, now we get water power. <laughs> Darn it. Well, I guess it's already up in the air, so... It's not gonna do more attacks to me, probably. Take down all these Hinoxes. It's still playing like the... I guess it's more of a Zora's Domain motif, but I always associate it with Mipha. Even though I can't really hear it over all the sound effects. <laughs> Let's go ahead and blast him. Right. My dear sister was able to pilot Baruta with such ease... She's truly beyond compare, since it's a long corridor. Just destroy as much as I can. Let's basically go really, really fast, because there's nothing here left. Snipe the Hinox from far away. That's the way. Victory shall soon prevail. I guess this is kind of a reverse of the other, like, uh, Varuta mission we did last time, I believe. Because instead, this is more like... We're going backwards, because they're all coming down the line. We'll just come down here and destroy their big... How wow. The monsters. Oh, that was it. I was gonna go back and laser down the corridor, but we killed 3,000. I wanted to laser the corridor, though! I wanted to bring damnation to my enemies! I have been cheated! Cheated have I been of my annihilation of my enemies? This is what I get for saving my laser beams. Let's see. I don't think there's anything I need to buy from here. <laughs> from YouTube chat. Hello, hello! Yeah. We're mostly doing side quests. I oh. played Koga for the first time. Oh. He's f a funny, funny little fun time. We did some side quests. I did some ancient lab stuff. And right now we're doing the Divine Beast missions that opened up because we can. Divine Beast Va Meadow is not limited to the sky. Make use of its mobility to the fullest, and take the flight to enemies in the air or on the ground. Show them Divine Beast Va Meadow's power! Yeah, Koka is a very fun, kind of jokesy character. His special ability is after he gets stressed enough, he just blasts out. A laser beam of death from his eye. Well, I guess his mask. We don't know how many eyes he has under there. I'll have... I'll have to give my utmost as usual. Vomedo, come, we're moving out. Oh. Not what I meant to do. My bad. Because we have lots of enemies up here. All right, Farmetto, let's show them what you're made of. Okay. 
you stop at enemies. Lots of enemies. Trying to take out your bases. You can pilot Valmetto as if his uh, as if its limbs are his own. Incredible. Onward, Valmetto. Time to show them what we're capable of. They're still coming at us in droves. This will truly test our endurance. Here I am trying to take out all their bases. Because I think that's scary. You kindly stop sending an army line of whizrobes at me. The more we destroy, the more they come. Some people never learn. Let's make them sorry they ever laid eyes on us. All right, I'm just gonna use this immediately. Yeah. And we definitely need to turn around. More guardians just keep showing up. Although the ones in the sky are probably closer than they appear. Almost there. Time to make it rain, Vom Meadow. Yeah. On the pride of the Rito, I vow to win this fight. Excellent. That definitely felt like I was just being bombarded on all sides. <laughs> From YouTube chat. So what do you expect uh, when you're going into Zelda the Tears of the Kingdom? Hmm. It very much depends, because I am pretty interested in potentially going and playing like Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask after I beat Age of Calamity. And then there's always like Persona 3 Portable to keep in mind, but that'll probably be like a side game to go to occasionally. If I ever do get back to it, which I do plan to eventually. It is hard to account for it. Yeah. Oh. Oh. And then ultimately, I guess it just depends on how fast I get through Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask, which probably would be faster than most because they're probably very simple. An offering of the Rito, an offering to the Rito goddess. There's a Rito goddess. I guess technically that's still the Hylia, but I think it would be neat if there was actually a bird Rito god in mythology. Every day, the residents of Rito Village leave apples for the goddess statue. Perhaps you can help them show their gratitude by adding some rare fruits to the offering. Just put a million plants stop in front of there. When the Rito saw rare fruits mixed in with the offering, they began giving pr uh, precious produce as well. This progressed into a festival of fruits, with the goddess's garland spruced up for the occasion. Let's see. Where is the other... Like... Ah, here's Vanaboris's. The Yiga Clan are also in the game. Sli like, technically spoiler, I guess, but I would assume that they would be. Like, it would be very weird if the Yiga Clan weren't in Tears of the Kingdom. It's just like, the Yiga Clan are such an interesting and, uh, in my opinion, underutilized piece of, like, uh, Breath of the Wild. Because they're meant to be a splinter group of the Sheikah who broke off in spite and anger against the Hyrulean family because 
10,000 years ago, the Sheikah used their technology to help seal away and beat Calamity Ganon, only for the Hylians to go, Oh no, you have technology! And for the majority of the Sheikah to bend the knee and forsake their technology. And then the Yiga are meant to have been splint off and then worship Calamity Ganon in spiteful hate of that betrayal. And so it'd be very, very weird if the Yiga clan weren't in Tears of the Kingdom, especially because that would add a decent, like, flavor to it almost, depending on how fanatical you want to make the Yiga clan, considering how, like, deep in they went on Link after we beat Koga. They're like, you dare <laughs> beat Master Koga? We're gonna kill you. And they sent harder minions after you. So it just feels like it should elevate even more, like, dear God, you dare defeat Calamity Ganon? Seal him away again, we'll kill you! Wow, <laughs> two chiefs. Interesting how Sidon's one was the only one so far where it was just Sidon and not me. Like, because Tiba and Rivali piloted Valmetto. Riju and Urbosa are going to be piloting Von Aboris. It's interesting. And from YouTube chat, are you interested into trying video games that have anthro furries? Oddly enough, like, just having anthro furries in the game is enough to make me go, hell yeah, I'm gonna try it. But, like, when a good game has well designed furry characters, it's like, elevates it super good. Like, the Rito in this game, and Breath of the Wild, and presumably Tears of the Kingdom. Top tier thing that makes me, like, it. It's kind of like a spice. It elevates it and makes it really good. But, like, I'm trying to think how to word it. It's mostly just due to the fact that, like, uh... Yeah, it's mostly just the fact that, it, like, for me, it's like a spice. It elevates an already good thing. Whereas... Like, just having furry characters, I might look at it. It's kind of like I go on Steam, I'm like, oh, furry character design. You look at it, it's like, just a very basic, basic. It's like, nah, sadness. I think there are, like, two-ish, like, hero shooter games that have, like, furry character design that I saw crop up on Twitter. And it'd be like, oh, cool, nice design. Too bad you're a hero shooter and I kind of burn out on him. It's kind of like Fortnite. Fortnite actually has some decent furry character designs. And it's just like, but it's Fortnite and I don't want to buy and grind the battle pass. <laughs> but onwards with the game. Two chiefs, as Urbosa and Riju train with divine beast Von Naboris, a swarm of guardians suddenly activate near them. It's up to the two Gerudo chiefs to suppress this threat. Although that also reminds me, I am highly disappointed at the lack of games that let you play as a dragon. Or even, like, games that you let you play as a werewolf. I'm even more, like, just annoyed by the fact that I'm like, oh, I'm gonna look up uh, good werewolf video games. And then the fucking listicle dares to say, Skyrim! I am going to castrate you, author of that fucking list. You know damn well what people want out of werewolf games, and it's not Skyrim. One Go forth, Varna Boris. We will rend them to pieces. Let's go ahead and blast this collection of enemies around us. From Twitch chat, howdy. How are we doing today? Doing well, doing well. Take this, enemies. Overall, I've been feeling really good lately. Just feeling very nice. I just need to, like, write and draw more. Definitely, definitely. As well as just, like, uh... Be more loosey-goosey with my, like... Time and doing stuff. Because I often go, like, oh, should I do that? Should I do that? Instead of just going, oh, yeah, I'll just go ahead and do it. <laughs> trying to think. 
Um, the mountain will probably block a lot of stuff if I try to aim left. Haha! <laughs> Take them all out. The Guardians are swarming. It seems they recognize Von Boris as a threat. As they should! Go ahead and take out all these airborne freaks. Wait, I definitely need to think about, like, what games I'll play after I beat Age of Calamity. Because Tears of the Kingdom is definitely on the list of games that I will definitely get to eventually. But... Might want to take a break from the Breath of the Wild universe and play other Zelda games. Because playing Breath of the Wild really made me go, Oh, I really should play other Zelda games. So it would make a good idea to actually sit down and play them. Mostly like uh, Ocarina of Time... Majora's Mask. Other ones also exist, but those are like the main ones that occupy my mind. Today is just like the attack of the freaking whiz robes, ain't it? I'll just use this to annihilate you. Around the corner, probably. Booyah. We did it! We really did it! Victory smiles upon us. Feels pretty good, no? Naboris is so nice to pilot with an AoE attack around you. It's super, super good. But how be chat today? How be the dear viewers that like to chat? I need to ask that more. Be personable. Strike up conversation. But one of the things I'm doing is I have been doing more writing. More like writing down ideas. And Brain got like a Breath of the Wild story idea. And now it's just like, let's make yet another Breath of the Wild save so that I can go through all of, like, uh, Breath of the Wild just to get to, like, the Rito village and document the characters and their personalities across the different, like, sections. Because brain is fool. Now let's go do this, because we can. I still like that each character seems to, or at least each race, seems to have their own unique way of flying. Like the Goron symbol on the Goron gliders. The Sheikah. And like... Well, I guess it's just like Impa and Koga have their own different diddlydees. And from YouTube chat, I know a game series that has furry characters, but it's not well known and obscure. Want to know? Sure, you can like throw the name in and be like, ah, oh, it's kind of this genre. Give a light pitch of it. Because there are a few like old kind of classical. Well, not classical, but more like retro, like furry aesthetic games from long, long ago. I'm trying to think. <laughs> There's one that I know about, but I keep forgetting its, like, name. Oh, I, you can actually flurry rush the that one. That's interesting. I'm trying to think of there's there was this one combo that I really like to do with Yonobo. I'm just forgetting how to do it. There we go. Take this. Get rolled, idiot. Dang it. Double dang it. I'll just smack you. Or rather, I'll have the minor bros come in and smack you. Like 
There we go. There's the spin. How dare you kick me? Highly illegal in five million states. Still hilarious that Yonobu punches people to death. Oh, two silver moblins. Different kind of moblin. Hello. Why do you have a bomb strapped to your back? Are you one of those uh, run at you dudes? Well, now that I have your attention, I'll go grab the attention of the other one. Who's wielding a guardian spear? What fun. And you just leave bombs all around? Get spun around, idiot. I keep forgetting that it's actually a giant ass platform that he summons. I think it's like the gut check rock. If I remember. Haha, <laughs> get flurry rushed, idiot! Get horrorororad, fool! Just flurry rush you. Oh. Yeah, I've just never seen a bomb carrying moblin before. Dare you hurt Yanobo? He is darling boy. Didn't even notice that I flurry rushed. A bomb throw. And I shall now turn you all into art. going. You absolute freak. I shall annihilate you. Just walking away from me. I did it! Maybe I'm not so shabby after all, Goro! That he's like his base thing is rock roast. Loden, Loden, remember to stay hydrated, everybody. Ah. Here. And really, because, like, reveals vicious monsters is not really important to me. This? Yes. I forgot to read. Damn it, I'm a fool. I am an utter fool. I didn't read. Shame upon my family and my cow. The Blacksmith Guild in the Royal Ancient Lab working hand in hand. Ah, what a fine sight to behold. The height of weapon technology is now within our grasp, yes. Because now we can increase max weapon level. 
Gain ability to remove hidden seals. What does that even mean? What's a hidden seal? I do not know. For I am a fool. Yeah, next thing we definitely need to do Don't is use more... Flaws. We have Master's Koga's training and the Clutches of the Yiga. Both are singular. Let's go ahead and do Master Koga's training, because we can. It's here. Might as well do it. And then maybe with the money we have, let us, we can then go and see about trying out some blacksmithing. Because it is very expensive to level up like the Master Sword. <laughs> you dare hit your master! It is I, Master Koga, leader of the Yiga clan, renowned for my good looks and big muscles! Dang it, everything, every single time I do my third combo, this asshole doesn't attack. Damn it, stop that. <laughs> Cheater. Still love this. Other Yiga members come in and <laughs> send him as a rocket. You did it? It's like that Mega Mind bit. <laughs> Who else wants to dance? Watch this. You hit me, your master. Get blasted by big glowy beam. Still like an utterly amazing. Baba da ba. You did it! Well, just running over my minions. Get bowled over! I love that he actually sends the big guys going. Gear it up, everybody! This is about to get spicy! Up. Uh -huh. Yo, your passion is downright fury! Or fiery. Yeah, just assume I said fiery the entire time. Oh, I, I, I ran out. It's still amazing how, like, actually strong Master Koga is. Like, all things considered. I do like that they keep using his big spiky ball. Dare hit your master! <laughs> Downside is we're kind of waiting for new things to spawn or hunting down enemies now. Okay, that's it! Time to get serious! Ah, dang it. Mistimed my stress fury. I 
like the music that's playing. His main weapon's called a demon carver. Well, well, it looks like I came out on top. Who <laughs> surprised? It's me after all. Koga's is very fun. I like the idea that the developers of Age of Calamity are like, but we really like Koga. We'll give him redemption. Which just goes to show that Age of Calamity is the best timeline. Even actual devs working on Breath of the Wild-esque adjacent stuff go, yes. In fact, <laughs> fan fiction way is yes. And we'll go ahead and do this, mostly to see if we can get our... Because I do believe we need to get more flail grabs and flail kills. Like, I already kind of knew that, but nice to have a confirmation that remote bombs deal, like, chip damage to... Huh. So probably should not have used the flails for this. Gotta defeat the ice, Hinox. You are very rude, ice, Hinox. Take your death. Hmm, interesting to see that. It actually does, like, an area of effect raise ice spikes on me. I wonder, if you bring out a giant log, can I then be able to steal it and use it for my own means? Get flurry rushed again, idiot. Darn it. We slice you and dice you. Aha, more flurry rushing. Hitbox on that baby run annoys me always. Get obliterated, idiot. Get bombed. Ow. I shall spam this instead. Ooh, awesome music. Get smacked by blades! And somehow summoning giant balls of metal at you. Ow. Ow! Quit speed blitzing me! Illegal! The fuck was that? You do a flippity flippity swoopity loo! On me? You're a centaur man! I'll now take that for my own purposes. Ah, that actually worked. Whoop. You little speedy bitchin' is annoying. I shall blast you now.
Get whipped, horse boy. That's always so fast. The fact that you flippity flippity flew so much bothers me. I'll take your weapon again. Oh. Damn it. Get out of here. I shall eat an apple. Oh. All is not right in the world. I'd like out of this fucking corner. Good. Smack that. My least favorite blight is here to blight my existence again. Oh, very rude. Can I do it to you? Ow. Apparently not. Get flurry rush, idiot. You are a very annoying bastard. What if I electricity you? I electricity you out of anger. Say, I should have been using my master sword. I thought there'd be more enemies here. It's a schmiggity schmack. Still annoying. Well, you cease being an annoying asshole. Let me annihilate you from all existence. steal your weapon is only fair you have a weapon let me steal let me freeze you again uh, that's how you dodge it it's a straight line Time limit remains. I'm killing him as fast as I can. All in all, if that's half the time limit, I think I'm actually killing him on schedule. Ah, I killed him. Bizarre. But I guess I got a decent amount of, like, weapon steals out of that, if not actual kills for it. If only we could move those kills to the stealing part. <laughs> From the YouTube chat. Do you know a studio called CyberConnect2? I think so. The name at least is familiar, even if I don't actively go like, Ah, yes, I know that. But the mi like, uh, my brain says it's very familiar. But I don't know why. We're going to primarily focus on leveling up the Master Sword. Let's see if we can find any other, like, fusion material up. Weapons. 
Yeah, CyberConnect vaguely sounds familiar, but I don't exactly remember what. Or why. Material drop rate from grass. Huh. Pour all my monies into the Master Sword. I don't think we've, like, leveled up Teb all that much. Probably should. Let's see, is there any... No material fusion up for you. See if we can get it to level 10 and give him a better. There we go. <laughs> and before I forget, I should definitely come here because there should be another. At least there should be. Because we did Von Boris. Ah, that's over here. Volcanic Might. Almost forgot about you. You know, Boo has been feeling right at home with the divine beast Varudanya. When a report comes in that Goponga village is under attack, Daruk and Yonobu set off with Varudanya to help. I keep forgetting if it's Yonobu or Yonobu. Just keep forgetting. While we go to Lava Land, remember to stay hydrated. Need to know that we can catch things that are thrown at us and throw them back. Let's we'll throw this at you. Although I think just running at him will be good. I can help, probably. Yeah, for the stone taluses, the go-to is just slam. Okay, will you please stop? <laughs> Cease your yeeting. Okay, you are very annoying, Lionels. And the fact that you kind of pushed me back is also very annoying. Get out of here. I do not like things that stun me. Stunning is illegal. Let's go, Varudanya! We'll stop our enemy no matter what! I do not fear your explosions, for I was molded in the explosions. Might as well use it since there's a bunch of enemies up this way. You can clear them out preemptively. I find it funny that, like, just running up and smacking a stone talus with my melee attack is a lot more effective. Oh, hey. Lots of guardians. Okay, I'll show you how strong I am, Goro! Huh. For some reason, I thought this game, like, really neglected his Goro tick. All 
I'm coming for you, Stone Talus. You cannot escape me, Stone Talus. I'm coming to step on you. We did it! We really did it! Let's keep this up, Varudanya, uh, if that's okay for you. Booyah! And from YouTube chat. Uh, the title for that game is Tail Concerto. That's the one I was thinking of, actually. I think it's on the PlayStation 1? I think so. It's like, I think it's that's like one of maybe two... Maybe, like, furry-esque PS1 games I know of? Or maybe I'm, like... <laughs> or maybe my brain is, like, accidentally splitting them in my memory. I don't know. But I do believe that that is... What it is that I am thinking of. We probably should... Like, level some people up. But who? I really like using Mipha. Get rid of 50. I'll use a uh, uh, Tebow a lot, so he'll probably get leveled up a lot. Just so much. So, so much. Hmm. Level 44 recommended for searching Hyrule Forest memory. 44, so Riju is underleveled there. That's the Great Plateau. Battle for Kakariko Village. And then Battle of Kaponga Village. Hmm. You know what? I'm interested to see what these are. And I'm really good at Revali, so I should be able to do it. Let's do this. And there are memory quests in here. I'm ready to stop my beak. Wow, that's good. Acceptable. <laughs> Acceptable. Defeat 500 or more enemies. That's an interesting thing. Keep the health of the Rito Captain protecting Rito Child above 50%. Huh. And then there is a hidden one. Hmm. We still don't know, at least I, I still don't know what the, like, question mark, question mark, question mark one there is either. But let's do this. I probably should have bought apples, but I probably wouldn't have been able to afford apples. And now we get Pura and Robbie as our narrators again, presumably. As war raged across all of Hyrule following the Calamity's revival, Ravali spotted a young Rito who had wandered onto the battlefield. But he lost sight of the child amidst the chaos. The real question is, what's a Rito child doing in Korok Forest? Because that's a ways away from Rito Village. Hearing this from Ravali, Teba's heart filled with dread. He insisted that they rush off in search of the child. I guess if it is a singular child from Rito Village, sub did somehow Tulin, Tulin, however you say his name, I, I've, I've mispronounced basically every single name in this game. Hey, Tino Village, Tiba, you know, boo. But somehow Tulin ended up through a time portal as well, I guess. Though dubious of Taba's agitated state, Ravali nonetheless consented. The two of them hurried to the forest where the child was last seen. Okay, so it was a battlefield outside Korok Forest and then went into Korok Forest. Master Ravali. You mentioned that you saw a child with the same color feathers as me, is that so? Fine. I did. I'm sure I spotted him somewhere nearby. Uh, where did he get off to? Yeah, you follow you. Let's locate the Rito child and also defeat enemies along the way. Do you remember anything else about the child? Hmm, come to think of it, his face somewhat resembled yours. I've never seen him in the village. Yep, then definitely from the... From the future, somehow. And this doesn't seem to be timed, but then again, who knows, maybe the secret thing is timed. Just pick 
take off enemies because we want to get that to 500 enemies or more. And plus we also need to kind of babysit this Rito Captain, I assume. Although, now that I'm thinking about it, now my brain is going... What if there are secrets back here? Because kind of odd to... Here's a chest from Morocco, so I guess they're in a reasonable place. So yeah, we're definitely going to wander around a bit more. Especially because... Odd place to begin. Oh, but this music's really good. Sorry, Tulin. But this is a memory with question mark, question mark, question mark things. Hmm. No, it doesn't seem to be. I just wanted to make sure there wasn't anything back here. It's still a little bit funny that we have just a random Rito captain with us. Hmm. I really should look into, like, Tail Concerto. See what kind of game it is. See if I'd ever want to stream it. Because it could be neat. Kelly, I shall kill you. Taba, yes, champion. <laughs> Taba. Taba, Tiba, Taba. We've always got it, Taba. Taba. Here, here I thought he was, at first, just reading the name, thought it was Teba. Then after hearing it a few times, I thought, oh, is it Tiba? Take this, stall moblin. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like he's here. Be still. <laughs> Need to be careful of reading the dialogue that pops up during these fights. Master of Volley. That was virtuistic. Never have seen such a flawless technique. Here, I thought it would be an actual story thing. Be still. Blast you. Too easy. Blast him away. Come on, we go. Because there's probably, like, a right way that gets you to there faster, which could be the thing that you need to do. Maybe. Be still. Hmm. Or it could be search out everything, I don't know. Question mark, question mark, question mark level things are, like, could be anything. heads away. Hello, Ice Chew. Watch and learn. It doesn't look like he's here either. Where did he go? Be still. Too easy. Take out this giant chew. Although, knowing Korok Forest would be kind of funny if it has to is just taking care of Tulin this entire time. Take out the 
enemies. More than likely he is in the like big one that's interconnected. I'd presume to a degree. I just really hope that it's not like time limited to like ah beat it to this. Very rude. Blizz robe. Get annihilated by my super combo. Considering I think that would be the correct one, let's go to the wrong ones. Because exploration is good. More Stal Moblins. He's not here. It's truly overrun with monsters. I hope he didn't run into any trouble. Get obliterated, Stal Moblin. Circles, annihilate all the flying head stalls. Go through the loop de loop. Ah, free apple. Perfect. Sapa. Ah, level up. Nice. Love when I get, like, the perfect angle to just annihilate a bunch of groups of enemies across the entire map. It's just so very nice. Make way, dear Bacoblins. Make way. Oh, success! I didn't want that. I want more murder. The Rito child has been discovered. Seriously? Tulin, I can't believe it's really you, but there's no time for that. I'm just glad that you're safe. Hey, I got turned around and realized I was in some strange place. I was so surprised. Ice Moblin and Fire Moblin have appeared. Monsters are still about. I cannot leave Tulin alone just yet. I'll protect the kid, Teba. You take care of the monsters over there. Watch and learn. You don't stand a chance. And then the other one is that kid. He's my son, Tula. It's thanks to you that he was saved. Oh, that's unexpected. So the both of you traveled back through time, then. I wonder why. What the fuck? Why are you flying? Hello, sir. You really amaze you, Popo. Just like the great master Ravali. I'm not just like Ravali. I am Ravali, but <clears throat> I need you. I no need to stare. Oh, you're an annoying enemy. The monsters are following us. Leaving the way we'll, we came will become dangerous. Uh, so many monsters, but I don't think there's a hope for rescue in this forest. What happened before we found you? You weren't in peril, were you? Yeah. Some tiny creatures told me this place was safe, so I uh, 
just fine, promise. Tiny creatures, huh? Had the Korox, I was right. I suppose we can't avoid finding monsters after all. Just stop. Really? And look stop. at that from behind. Looks as if we should split up. If I watch and learn how Master Belly fights, do you think I could be that strong too? Wow, you're so cool. You're even more amazing than I ever imagined. Still worshipped a hundred years from now. Makes sense, but no other Rita warriors have surpassed me. Ah, Flurry Rush for free! Captain alone. Take this. Be still. He's best for taking down weak points against these big strong monsters. That question mark, question mark, question mark mission might be. Come on. Again? Tulin, wait right there. We'll take care of things and return shortly. <laughs> Damn camera. Like, I know I flew up into the sky, but still. I want to go this way because there's a big, like, enemy icon. But go back to Tula. I just want to come over here and defeat these guys because they exist. Get another Watch and learn. You stand a chance. Although I guess depending on the like hey. silver moblin scent, they could be pretty dangerous. It's just they existed, and I had to take them out. Why right, there's so many monsters here? are kind of weak. Now it's the slime we really have to worry about. I guess chew. At least you're not like a super duper scary chew. Like you're not spawning fire chews. You're just bouncing around. Works for me. Will there be one big final monster stopping us on our journey? 
Out of the way, Lizalfos. Gotta get Tool into safety. Great. We need to get out of this forest fast, but we don't know the way without the Koroks. The way out? Oh, I know that. The tiny creatures told me earlier that we can go through here. Get out of here. Rhea, cool down. Hmm, this wind. That means just ahead is... Get obliterated, Skeleman. How much of a terrible skeleton do you have to be to be destroyed by a bow and arrow? I do wonder what the question mark, question mark, question mark could possibly be. Oh, the wind is blowing. That means we can go through here. Kind of adorable that Tulin actually made it here. Well, well, you're actually not bad at reading the wind, are you? I think we get kept him above 50% health, so that should at least be two. Well, that's mean. That's not gonna help. I'll have no monsters over there, Master Volley. Forgot to read. But, uh, yeah, strike at me. And those are Blizz robes. That's gonna be annoying. More flurry rushes. And a silver moblin just out of nowhere. All right, that's annoying. That's probably going to get the one guy down below half health. that because I'm about to die. Yeah, I really don't like quit tanking the blasts. Uh, damn it, that's probably the sign that he's actually at half health. Very annoying, just sending in a bastarding flying silver guy. Darn, darn. Then again, we probably haven't even done the, like, secret, secret one anyway, so. We probably have to do this one again anyway. I shall destroy you for your transgressions against me, you bastard. It blasted Thunder Wizrobe. With that, it seems we can escape the forest safely. Thank you, Master Ravali. Truly. Stop with the over-the-top humility. It's annoying. I did get some good training in, though. So yeah, more than likely did not do the 50% health on the guard. Got a memory quest, Great Eagle Bow. Let's see, do we have any. There's 
not look like we have any like cell. Well, keep that because fusion material up. Trying to sell the weak ones that wouldn't really give much experience. Oh, a cutscene. Nice. Now go and say thank you. Master Ravali saved your life after all. Okay. Master Ravali, thank you so much for saving me. Adorable. <laughs> you know, you're pretty good for a little kid. You you mean it? This is great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> training so that I can be just like you. Someday, I'll even master the great eagle bow. <sighs> you were nearly killed by those monsters, you know. Yet you're so happy. Maybe it won't be long until you're master of the winds, just like me. You never know, eh? This is cute. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. But before that, he must surpass his old man. It's only a matter of time. <laughs> <laughs> Was that meant to sound like me? <laughs> oh, no. Um. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of nice seeing Rivali. <laughs> Just Rivali. Kind of nice. Hey. <laughs> You've got a ways to go, kid. From YouTube chat. Is that Tulin? Yep. Somehow he fell through a portal as well, I guess. But that's cute. <laughs> Ravali actually being kind of nice and considerate. Oh, we've got EX things. Probably like... Hmm, let's see. Yep, we missed out on the... Keep the health of the Rito Captain protecting tool above 50% and aid the isolated Rito Captain. Hmm. So I'll probably try to do that on my own time, maybe. I'd like to fill those out. And this one is still question mark, question mark, question mark. I wonder if that means that I never ran across its activation conditions. Enhanced ability. Obtain the Soaring Champion's Bow? Well, that sounds neat. I'm going to have to do grinding. So much grinding. Let's see. I guess before we go any further, further, though, we should probably do the main story of the Great Plateau. Oh, hey! And it's not destroyed. I guess it makes sense. We'll definitely put Link ahead. And we will use the Master Sword, of course. We will use Tiba and Ravali, because I really, really like them. This game gives me Dynasty Warriors vibes. If I am correct, this should indeed be made by the Dynasty Warriors people. With the two of us, we can't lose. Same thing with, like, uh, the original Hyrule Warriors. Because it is indeed made by to Koei Tecmo. And from YouTube chat, there's an old furry game from Little, uh, from Little Tale for the Nintendo DS. Titled Sol -tobo uh, Sola Torobo. Red the Hunter. I think that was the other, like, uh, retro furry game I was thinking of, because I think there's also a Solitorobo, or similarly titled game on the PlayStation 1. I do believe, I do believe. I wonder how it will taste. Surprising. Mm -hmm. Let's see. We'll buy three apples just in case. 
and we will do a main story mission. That's neat, seeing a full team fly off. Oop, Zelda narration time. At long last, Zelda's true power had awakened. Even the Yiga clan, who had vehemently opposed the heroes, now joined them in strength. Finally, the people of Hyrule stood united. You know, I didn't notice that. But yeah, like, every single faction in Hyrule is now, like, actually, yeah, standing together. That's cool. Just as hope had begun to shine, Zelda received an urgent message. Remaining Hyrulean forces were locked in a fierce battle on the Great Plateau. Heeding their call, the princess rushed immediately to their aid. I wonder why specifically they were on the Great Plateau. I guess guarding the... Shrine of Resurrection, maybe. All right. Our fight isn't over. We must hurry. I'm sorry, Your Highness. But it's too far. Even if we left right away. Blah, blah, blah. I just so happen to have good news to share. Sciency Go news? And behold! Because we can teleport. <laughs> That's actually neat See seeing that Yiga there? just standing side by side with him. Control unit, the one that's in the castle. And of course, I was successful. I managed to reactivate all of the towers. Impressive, right? Oh, yeah! <laughs> Check it. Let's all hurry to the Sheikah Tower. Huh? Why there? I also upgraded the teleportation functionality. Just like that? Now that's a feat. Well, to be fair, it's not all me. Thanks to ancient tech built into our friend. Yeah, because we have seen that anybody can really use the towers. Like, we saw Daruk teleport to one without a Sheikah Slate. So I guess it's just like an upgrade to its overall teleportation abilities. Some troops are under attack in nearby outposts. Everyone, onward to their rescue. Volley and Link, Teba and Mipha. Let me get them matched up. Okay, you're already following. Then you follow Ravali. We definitely need to split up. So Mipha, head over there, and I shall head this way. <laughs> We've lost contact with our other divisions. The Hyrulean army is in tatters. Seems everyone's confused and unable to grasp the situation. Hmm, I don't like not knowing stuff. Underlings, go snoop around and tell us what you find. You got it, boss. I not actually Let's clear out full swaps of enemies. Uh, it's playing the good music again. Uh, somebody help! Take this, Ice Moblin. Dang it, I missed because of the goddamn camera. Now you can't leave the. Oh, you can't actually leave the outpost. That's amazing. He obliterated. Yeah, keep knocking them down! Means the rest of us don't have to work so hard. them to the middle of the place. Hey, just 
just mow down some enemies. Which powers up all the main people I like. Excuse me. Blast them all. Level up. Hell yeah. <laughs> We're back with our apart. Soldiers are stuck in the temple and rubble is blocking the way. We eager could hop right over the rubble, but bringing everybody back, phew, that'd be tricky. Okay. I know. How about we activate the Shrine of Resurrection and use it as a travel gate? One way to do it. Stella! We can approach the temple from another angle. Let's activate it using this guardian. Can you please help us activate the shrine? It appears you are capable of crossing over that rubble. I feel kind of queasy about helping a member of the Hyrulean royal family, but sure. Yiga, roll out! Hello. Wait, to activate the shrine, you must bring this with you. So if I played Koga, I would do this mission. Presumably. Fight the Guardian. But that is kind of neat because it gives some replayability to the main missions. Where, like, oh, if I play this character, I can go in and do cool stuff. Blast him away. Too easy. Get Let's clear out all the monsters from this place. Go ahead and send Link up there, presumably. God, there's so many monsters here. Kind of hard to tell that this is indeed the Great Plateau. It almost feels like it's been expanded. I guess to make kind of makes sense. Either that or it's just not as utterly destroyed. It not being destroyed also could affect its appearance. Oh, there we go. There we go. Take out this whiz robe. Ah, we're surrounded! Oh, with a frickin' giant Hinox. What? After all the tough scrapes you've been in, this is going to stop you? It looks like they're struggling to reach the shrine. Time for us to lend our hand. Or aid. And there's multiple. You dare? You stand a chance. Multiple Hinox. Well, I guess if I want to grind Hinox materials, this would be the place, I guess. Two Hinox for one mission? Could be decent. Too easy. You're finished. Dang it. Hey. Aha, there we go. My Flurry Rush game has not been tip top shape today. Yeah, but there we go. Goodbye, Black Hinox. I mean, if you look more gray, green to me. Annihilate them. You stand a chance. Also, we should probably get Link up here. Get 
do more weak point damage. Kaboom. Oh, my. Well, that's not good because it doesn't, uh... Oh, very rude. Be still. Try I shall still destroy you. For daring to hurt me with your electricity belly. Illegal, I say. Even from suboptimal <laughs> range. Still got you. Uh, thanks for the help. I'll head for the shrine. A silver frickin' Lionel, you say to me? This can't be! Well, actually... Let's have Link take this one on. I haven't played as Link in a bit. Yeah, get into the corner. You freak! And use a special ability. Ba -ba -da -ba. What the? Some new allies arrived and they're taking down the monsters left and right! There aren't many with that level of skill even in Hyrule. Wait, it can't be. Can't be what? Ow. I honestly don't know who it could be. Maybe Suga? But he was said to be DLC. Wait, chatter last one. The last chat. The stream. I don't think it would be anybody from the future. I don't think it could be anybody from the future. <laughs> the Shrine of Resurrection has been activated! To me. And now we head to the temple. We must hurry to provide assistance. <laughs> but first I shall... Care of this. Let's have everybody kind of roundabout follow each other. I'll quickly take these two bases, or at least one base, that, since this is available. And then we can see who the hell it is. That has the skill to take notice. They specifically said allies, but that's probably just to obfuscate who it could be. Is it a whole group? Or an individual? Would be funny if it was old Impa. Here to kick ass. Or young Pura, where Pura's just like, why am why is future me younger than me from the past, which is the present? But I don't think that would be it either, because Pura even younger wouldn't really be a combat character. Because normal Pura right now is not a combat character, even though I do believe Pura and Robbie together are a DLC character. Seeing this place in its prime is so good. So that's how you got up here. I never really paid attention to it. It's just like, oh yeah, that's like a weird lake place. It's because it was the absolutely demolished entrance to this place. That makes sense. Genuinely makes sense. Really, I'm mostly shocked that I just have completely mispronounced everybody's name throughout this entire game. Take this. Ah. Supposed to get everybody together. Even though technically I do believe we would just all teleport together, but you never know. Get everybody down there. 
with their wonky AI. I didn't even really save you from anything. I was just beating up monsters near you. Oh, travel. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good going. You must hurry and aid the others at once. Or to their aid. Send everyone. Although now it'd be funny. We should probably leave Meep out here, maybe. Don't send people. Send everybody. What do you mean your time has come? <laughs> Yep, this is classic Breath of the Wild. This is cool. Oh! <laughs> Dang it, I missed a bloopy. Again, d don't really know <laughs> that they were in here. But apparently they are. There's a little cave. It even still has the... <laughs> I say still. It has a fire... Like... Screw you, Octoroks. You're illegal. But even has a fire. Can't take that, Octoroks. A malice infested guardian? What the hell are you doing here? Well, I should probably follow Link, Mipa. <laughs> Korok, some things never change. Indeed. Take this, Malice Guardian. I don't even need a sword that seals the darkness to take you down. Ah, you know what? I also have another one. Let's take you out right now. You know what, we'll go ahead and send the others in. Don't even need to break your weak point, you're about to die. Take out everybody! Make way! And we get to see the Temple of Time all unbanged up. Blasted. Time to blow up some people. This place definitely looks a lot better. I mean, it has a roof. Oh, that's... Ah, uh, busted beakers. You gotta help me out! Enemies are closing in on the stronghold! There you go. And Mipha can follow. Let's see. Teba. You smell that? A fresh batch of baddies just begging for a beatdown. <laughs> Guess Link can also follow Teba. 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 I keep forgetting how to pronounce his name. Be still. Just annihilate.
annihilate you. Nice and quick so I can join everybody. Although, considering that he's Rito, he should be able to just fly over the debris. Fast. Everybody there. It's still cool to see a, like a light redesign of the Great Plateau like this. Yes, yes, Laval's Lizolfos. Too big, you're scary. But we need to get teleported. Oh, they even put a clock here. They knew somebody would do this. <laughs> Still awesome. Okay, since Tebo was the one to be locked here and everyone followed him. Oh, I pressed the wrong button entirely. <laughs> you stand a chance. The Shrine of Resurrection never stood a chance. I am a fool. Now we want to send you up the Silver Moblin. We'll have you... Well, I guess because we can't target... Well, we can't actually navigate to them. It's considered an out-of-bounds. No, you can't do that. Which makes sense. Yeah, you can fight the Guardian. Yeah, you go to Emba. Ah, flurry rush time. How dare you stab me. Spears are illegal on the Great Plateau. It's axes only. Or rusted swords. Anything Moblin made is illegal. Yeah, keep knocking them down. Means the rest of us don't have to do as much work. <laughs> Flurry rush time. Of course I accidentally send Mifa to fight the electric guardian. My bad, Mifa. Man, I missed that one. I'm full. Perfect. Yeah, lose your arm, you freak. Lose all your arms, you horrendous freak. Damn. You go aid Link. Oh, it's a low flying club. Okay, <laughs> didn't expect that. Lol. Oh, of course you get the Hinox. <laughs> abuse Rivali's great weak point slain skills. Ooh, we made it through. Thanks to, for your help. I see. Princess, about that person who uh, was said to be fighting the monsters earlier. Yeah, who was it? Understood. I'll go meet them. I genuinely don't know who it is. I'm racking my brain. I mean, it's the Great Plateau, so my jokey brain goes, what if it's a random axe guy? A random woodcutter. Oh, honey crepe. Rupees plus 30%.
Well, they're getting a better cutscene than Koga. Assumedly, unless they just go up there, we see them, and then the cutscene ends, like with Koga. <laughs> How the fuck are you alive? Like, I... You didn't even draw your weapon when you got, like, surrounded by guardians. At least now you can be there for your... Well, actually, that's a thing. What? I guess you came here for safety? And I guess you didn't know where Zelda was this entire time. It's actually kind of poetic. King Rome, we was found here in the Breath of the Wild dead. It and is in all here. Thanks to this. Oh yeah! <laughs> the MacGuffin that she gave him from her mother. This little thing saved me. So he was managed, he did manage to escape, or at least, at least I think. Is this still the, the castle? I wasn't paying attention to the geography. Oh, it's a guardian shield! Congratulations, you are now Steven Universe. Yeah, so that was happened at the castle. Your heart, your boundless compassion. With those precious gifts, you have saved my life. Age of Calamity, King Rome is so good. Your duty. In truth, perhaps I was guilty of the same. <laughs> Yet another reason why this is me. Breath of the Wild fan fiction. King Rome is redeemed. <laughs> Father, you've always loved me. Everything you've done has always been for me. Even if you kind of fail to show it sometimes. The burden, the heavy load you've shouldered all this time. Pride of all I rule. With your power, I believe you will seal away Calamity Ganon. Now let us rally our forces I love for a this. final push. Troops from all regions shall gather at Hyrule Field. <laughs> Alongside our princess, we will retake Hyrule Castle. Age of Calamity is just so good. Just so good. From YouTube chat. Ah, Roto, hello. In the normal timeline, the king would have died here on the plateau. I guess it's true that we don't really know where the king was when he died. Because... The last time he canonically appears in the memories is when he told off Zelda for shirking her duty and be like, ah, oh, the eyes of Hyrule are on you and they think that you are going to be the queen of the heir of nothing. And uh, that's the last time we really see him. But if it's anything to go by, I would assume that he would have still been at Hyrule Castle like he was in this timeline. And it's just due to time travel shenanigans even though Zelda was going to head out to Mount Lanayru early, leaving like the day before so she could climb the mountain and get to the Spring of Wisdom early on her birthday because they knew that it was going to be her birthday that the Calamity would return. But timeline shenanigans, the Calamity happened early, I think. Timeline shenanigans. His grave is atop one of the Plateau Mountains, specifically in Breath of the Wild. I did not know that. Huh. Interesting. So I guess once everything was going crazy... Wait a minute. If he has his own grave, then I wonder who buried him. I guess he could have buried himself? Oh, I don't know. 
Genuinely don't know. Interesting. I did not know that, though. King Rome, defier of prophecy. That's a badass title. The king of Hyrule and father to Zelda. He leads the Hyrulean army. He is intent on stopping the calamity and restoring peace to the world. Badass. Badass. And just a billion more upgrades. Yay! All my resources are gonna be absorbed! Dear God. <laughs> Dear God. Earn recipe for creamy heart soup? Sure. Link was tired of his ass and buried him. <laughs> that would be kind of funny. Link uses the last of his energy to bury the king before... <laughs> Most likely the soldiers who made the final stand with him at the plateau. That's true. And kind of in honor of the king, they probably would go like, We must bury the king before we die. But very interesting. I did not know that his grave was up there. It needs a splash of what? A cook is fretting over a sweet soup, trying to figure out what's missing. What can you bring that would add just the right touch? Lactose! Wow! Good job! After you gave the cook what you found, he found another ingredient that was missing. Love. What truly satisfying dish can be made without that? He taught you the recipe in thanks. Recover health every ten seconds? That's neat. Oh, hey! The top piece of the Sheikah suit. Some dastardly crook is pilfering little by little from the Yiga clan's precious banana hoard. Get ready, get yourself ready for a stealth mission. It's time to catch this mysterious thief in the act. Am I even allowed to be this strong? The crook turned out to be a small boy who loved bananas. Unable to find them at shops, he had no other choice. The Yiga move decided to loosen their grip on the world's banana supply. So what you're saying is, if Donkey Kong was in Zelda, he'd be with the Yiga. Level 2 Gerudo! And bonus combo. Master Koga is worried about the recent downturn in his lackey's morale. To remind everybody who's in charge, he needs some supplies to practice, nay, to perfect his secret technique. Now I'm even more charming. No. <laughs> After rigorous training, Master Koga was able to flawlessly execute the secret technique. Awed by their chief's dedication as well as his perfect form, the Yiga's morale greatly improved. Let's see. A King Rome bonus combo. To keep his body in shape, King Rome likes to train with the woodcutter. Sometimes he is out chopping lumber until dawn. Provide some supplies for those late nights camping out. With all those wood cu cutting, what does he need? More wood. But I'm going to assume that's specifically firewood so he can actually cook the food. With plenty of food to last through the night, King Rome was able to focus on the work at hand and his skills quickly improved. Switch between guises is his unique action. Use King Guise to deliver powerful blows and use Hermit Guise to unleash quicker strikes. Changing guises during a strong attack will trigger an additional strong attack. Oh, they actually made him like a part, like part Hermit guy. That's neat. Oh, up here is a heart. Improved heart recovery. You hear that the Goron Hot Springs at marker number 7 of Death Mountain will soon be open to the public. To make sure tourists can reach the spot safely, give them something to cool. I, I just ran out of words there. The Goron Hot Springs were an instant sensation. Folks came from far and wide to relax and rejuvenate. The memory of all those happy, smiling faces fills your heart with warmth. Increases chance of great success in fusing. Oh, 
I didn't even know that was a thing. I am a fool! As a reward for hard work, the Blacksmith Guild is taking everyone to a hot springs to relax. What could they want to take? Yeah, what could they want to take to enjoy the steaming water more? Find it for them. You did well. Of course I did well. I am the greatest! The blacksmiths from the guild like their trip to the hot springs even more thanks to what you brought. Their burly brawn is back in top shape, and it seems they're all gleaming too. Just more and more super upgrades. Where can I get this game? Probably generally anywhere. This is a Nintendo Switch. So like the Nintendo eShop on the Switch or any place that carries general... Nintendo Switch games, maybe. It is a little bit of an older game, but I wouldn't see any reason why it wouldn't be out here. Discount in West Hyrule. Mm. Improve odds of higher quality weapon drops. Always nice. An old man from the Hylian Blacksmith Guild is upset after having an argument with his grandchild. He'd, excuse me. He'd like to smooth things over, so gather whatever the youngster likes for him. A commendable achievement. After you brought the old man what his grandchild likes, he smoothed things over with the youngster. In thanks, he taught you his secret technique for evaluating weapons. Just have to scan over. Ah, more. Discount in West Hyrule. That would take the last of my Sankey carp. The Tabantha Great Bridge has fallen apart to the point that traveling merchants fear crossing it. The bridge needs a lot of reconstruction. Bring the supplies needed to do the job. Oh. With your supplies, the bridge repairs were finished, much to the relief of everyone who needs to cross it. Merchants are likely to transport more goods back and forth across now. Let's have a bonus heart. Might as well do it. As accustomed as they are to the cold, even Rito get goosebumps soaring at high altitudes. Perhaps it would help to cultivate plants with warming properties. Looking pretty good, huh? Unfortunately, the crop failed, as it was ill-suited for the climate of Rito Village. However, in the process, the farmers thought of another ingredient that could heat the body at high altitudes. I'm just looking over for all the upgrades that I might want to do. There's a King Rome bonus. Well, bonus heart, not bonus camera. Okay. As the calamity draws near, monsters are harming more people than ever. There's a shortage of helping hands and not nearly enough medicine. Gather some materials with healing properties. What fate grants me, I accept. The peep which is hilarious, your entire title is Defire of Prophecy. The people of Hyrule were much more prepared for emergencies now that they had medical supplies. Plus, some of the residents of Castletown offered to help administer treatments. Alright, but the next thing that we shall do, ever so slightly, is we are going to do more missions. So that I have, like, more missions to grind on. Because I definitely am going to have to do a ton of grinding for all of this, I swear. No, it's been a bit. Let's do some. Let's let's do some master cycling. <laughs> we need to kill a thousand people for with the master cycle for a uh, level up. Then I guess through some of the mission diddly dees, I'll try to finish off the flail requirements. for the Royal Tech Lab. Still love that you can move the little mini guardian on the loading screen. Out of the way. Maybe probably not the best weapon for uh, trying to escape the Yiga Clan hideout.
but I will do it anyway. Some free kills. We need to get like a thousand for the actual thing, but we do need to get out, out, so. Out of the way, Yiga clan. Princess Zelda's riding high. Now we need to find the way out of here. Just this way. We only have four minutes to get out. With the power of bike. <laughs> We escape. But we need to feed him? Or maybe run from him. Still a hilarious weapon. Yeah, I don't think we have the... Like, ultimate strength to really take down Suga. Let's just try to get out of here. Dang it. Dodging around on this thing is very hard. Make way for bike. Fear the power of Master Cycle Bike. Be annihilated. Why are there ice chews in here? Is it their banana refrigeration system? I know I have half the time, but probably certainly have to kill these guys anyway. You're almost dead, Blade Master. Give me your bananas. Huh, I did need to kill them. My intuition is grand. And I just got a random sapphire. Hell yeah. Are we gonna have to fight Suga to get out of here anyway? You want a piece? Oh, Master Koga. Hold it right there! You step on Master Koga's turf, you'd better get ready to throw down! Weaponized Akira drifting. I swear. Also, this is destroyed Yiga hideout. This was after Naboris just annihilated it. How dare you. You are very mean, Master Koga. He must be now ran over. <laughs> well, did she make a staircase out of <laughs> her, her ice? That's hilarious. Oh! I just got them all in there. Oh, hey, Suga! I was not expecting you. Everything just goes so fast that I can't see what it is that she summons with the ice. Took you long enough? I was nearly toast! Dang it. 
very mean, all of you. Still awesome music, though. Let's go ahead and get rid of this Blade Master. Okay, let's eat an apple. Of course, you do it all the way over there. Oh, I don't think we're, we're going to be beating Master Koga. Please die, Master Koga. I might have to spam my... There we go. We lost? This must be somebody else's fault. In my honor, I take my leave. I almost didn't win that. And from YouTube chat, apparently CyberConnect, developer we were talking about earlier, has an official YouTube channel, and they make videos of Japanese dubbed and English subcomics of their furry games. That's neat. Always nice when they have subtitles. Which is extra neat because technically they could do it in, like, just upload one video and then have a ton of different subtitles because of how YouTube works, even though most of the time, I don't think most people do that. It's usually just like one language. Okay, stronger yet. The enemy has only grown stronger. They're set on attacking you. Prepare yourself and overcome these challenging odds. we should do here. Hmm. I guess I could go and try and level up the flails to make no. using them a bit better. What's that? Raise weapon level limit. Well, we haven't reached that yet, so... Not much for me. Let's see. I guess, well, but that's a big one. I don't know. I think we're never, we're never gonna really use it. Dash attack, midair attack, strong attack. Guess we'll take that. that regular attack damage, and it's a square. All the regular attack damage ones are all. Oh no, it's just like ah, that's why, because one of these guys is it. Eh, I have a double pull, but we'll just use. It. Give it to level 43. Hmm, then again, this seems to be a, like it could be a boss rush, so... Because especially is stronger yet. So I think I'll just use the Master Sword. Well, then if we're going to not do the Flail... No, let's do... let's do Sidon. Let's dive right in. Let's -a go. Because it could be that this is just yet another of the boss rush ones. It's like, ah, fight a Hinox. And then fight a uh, Lionel. And then surprise, Water Blight. Like so. <laughs> Still love that he uses it like a fishing pole. It's great. Flurry Rush, fool! I also, I really love the unique actions of each character. Oh. Fool! Oh, I missed it. There we go! <laughs> Dang it. No way. Oh. 
Shall not. And get smacked. Normal Hinox. Saw you use a battering ram before. And blue and main Lionel has come in. We really need to defeat you soon, Mr. Blue Hinox. Hurry up and die for me! Too much heat. Dodge all these? Darn you! Right. You are very mean, Mr. Lino. Way too aggressive when I'm trying to kill this Hinox. And you can just go around him. Lionel, Mr. Lionel, fuck off. I'm trying to kill the big man. The fact that that goes through is very me. And now I can deal with you. His motion will return. <laughs> Rush. Now I can give you my full attention. More Flurry Rush. Of course, you use electricity. You're racist. Suffer, Mr. Lionel, for your sins. Getting a decent amount of flurry rushes on you, that's good. Dark, I missed. Try and flee, Mr. Lionel. You can try all you want. I'm just gonna do this to, because <laughs> I'm probably gonna get hit if I don't. I must not fail. Keep smacking up with big attacks. Darn it. Double darn it. Now, so did a lot of damage. Oh, flurry rush. So that you dare not do that again. Oh. Interesting that it's actually had more range the way he's looking at you. Take that, Lino. I'm really glad that this game has so many characters that I really like to play. They all play interestingly. And a good thing I did not use Flail Link, because it was another boss rush. Or I guess mini boss rush. Oh, 
another heart showed up. And we're missing the hearty radishes. I think, well, I mean, it's all of these. That one's most likely to do normally anyway. Let's set that there and see. I know there's some that sell the radishes that we require. I think it said we need 15 for it. Then Colosseum Intermediate. Which seems to be another, like, boss rush. We could do King Rome, but probably not for a boss rush level. Let's just play it safe and do Link. We haven't, like, played him, played him in a bit. I keep forgetting that I can technically, like, guard and reflect enemy attacks. Actually, that'll be interesting to test out, like, with the different characters. Like, not all of them have shields. So it'd be interesting to see them deflect, like, guardian beams. Take that, Stalmoblin! And another one showed up. Out of nowhere. Very rude of you. How many style moblins will there be? And take him out. Close, I almost missed the stasis rune on him. Well, that's very rude. I was in the midst of my fly up into the sky helicopter attack. And the Stalnox has entered the fray. Yeah, the way, because that is. <laughs> There, runny, runny, run, run. Like attack. But they also love to do. Dare run away, Stall Moblin. Take that. And now we take on the Stall Nox. Why does it feel like the Stalnox is faster than other Hinoxes? I mean, I mean, I guess it's just the bones, so no flesh to weigh it down, but still. Seems weird. And nope. No batter up for you. And then weak point strike. Normally when the eye is out, I just figured, oh, I have to beat up the eye. I do find it interesting that the only times we ever actually see the inside of the Sheikah shrines is during big old boss rush things like that. Also kind of funny, the last few have just been boss rushes. All in the same kind of level bracket. That's kind of funny. I just accidentally left those ones open to not do. Yes, yes, yes. Vicious presence fled. And then Colosseum Expert. See, Riju's training. We never did Riju's training. Might as well do it now. And I keep forgetting to read the battle descriptions. 
Because usually they're not much, but at the same time, some of the times they're actually good. Hmm, we've been going for about three hours. So I should probably... Like, after this, find one more mission to do. Go, Patricia, in the madness. I am Riju, chieftain of the Gerudo, and this is Patricia, my noble steed. Now, I wonder what, like, the, like, original definition of steed is. Like, specifically. Because she is using it for transportation, Patricia. But not, like, riding it. Which you normally associate with steed. Do this. Electricity damnation for you. Smack away at your weak point. Get out of your way as you run in a circle. All of your just Lizalfo friends just not coming to fight me. Still hilarious that her final attack is just a kick. Her the Lizalfos. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Now, we annihilate them all. You foolish Lizalfos. You come to your end. Yeah, I do have to say, I think out of all the characters, Riju is just oddly difficult to control and maneuver. Boom. She is it's interesting to use. It's just out of all the characters, it feels like she has the least control. At least for me. Maybe I just suck. It's definitely interesting, but there are just other characters I would use more. Yeah, half the time remains. And we're at the point of the training where we just need to hunt down and destroy random enemies left on the map. Oh, hello. I shall annihilate you. Goodbye, Black Moblin. Obliterated by Patricia. You foolish black moblin, you. Just spam the Thunder Helm. Victory. I do like the training levels, though. They're kind of there as a designated, hey, <laughs> if you want to do all of the missions, play the character, actually give them a chance. I still wonder about the loading screen sword, because it doesn't look like any sword in the game. More vicious. Definitely to do lots of vicious ones. 
<laughs> load up on them. Tree. Also need to get hydromelons. Big hardy radish, definitely need them. We also need to find oh, good good, that I finished it up. There's a large no. I don't like to put large there. There's a group of amateur ecologists who meet regularly in Hatino Village. Why not bring these lovers of nature some specimens that will quench their thirst for knowledge? Such as five billion bananas. And bonus experience from enemies. I think it's like the third one. So like with my added on like cooking ones, it's like 23% extra bonus experience. Extra bonus is redundant, I'm a fool. The ecologists were fascinated by the specimens you brought them. Speaking to the group of lifelong knowledge seekers, you found their enthusiasm for learning utterly infectious. And we should find one more, like mission mission. There's anti-flame training, which could be done by anybody. Anti-lightning, fleeing the weather. The forest dance festival, chief and training, which is another Riju level. Escorting the injured. Then we're just really getting up there. Zelda's training bows, fire hazard. Like a lot of really cool ones. King Rome's training, I guess we could finish off with King Rome training. Actually give him a playthrough. Let's go. Hopefully, we won't need the apples. Because we are very, very low on apples, and they are expensive. For some reason. Even though we went through, like, the entire apple branch of the Royal Lab. And it's like, ah, we know how to make them easier now, so they're less expensive. That feels like a lie. But very interesting, his change guises unique ability. I feel like I'm going to forget this one a lot more than, like, others. Because at least with, like, Sidon... His is like a big notification thing, like shing. There's a big reminder. Oh, I want to see, though. I don't think we've waited to actually see his hieroglyph on the procession of playable characters, which is just so neat. Especially because these are all pretty much story-important characters, uh, except for you. And you're straight at the front. <laughs> and then there he is, King Rome and Koga. <laughs> and then, like, the two bonus characters that I have not leveled up, like, at all. This entire time. Like, I just played them a little bit. Like, at least, like, the fairies. Not all that big on the fairies. And then the monk guy. And maybe I need to play him more. How dare you stab your king? Oh, that's nice. Only well, downside is the knight is in the corner. It's a little annoying. How dare you stun the king out of his move. I get flurry rushed and I can't even see what's happening. Oh, I wonder if he has two different special abilities. Because of the king Rome. King as the old man. Oh, that's badass! I wonder why he specifically has the, like, m like a uh, woodcutter hermit guys in this timeline. But he's actually super awesome. I should have used the woodcutter one. Defeat Link? This will truly test our metal. He's not even using the Master Sword. He's going easy on me. Very rushed by old man. Oh, 
So it's actually like a time thing there for his. But I do like King Rome's, like, arc in this game. <laughs> he throws off it. That's cool. After all these years, I still wear the crown. I like his act of throwing off the woodsman disguise. King Rome, you are awesome. You're awesome because you have a great character arc for this game, and you get to live! Because you kind of think, like, oh... His character arc would end because you thought he died. And then Link gets his little royal guard cap. That's great. But we've been going for a little over three hours. We did one story mission and one EX mission. One EX mission. Which actually, speaking on the one EX mission... I am kind of interested in why, like, this EX mission tells us in the memory quests, Aid the Isolated Rito Captain is revealed after going through it once, but this one is still question mark, question mark, question mark. So who knows? Like, maybe I'll look that up, but the fact that this one gets shown and this one doesn't, like, uh, we might have to wait until further into the... EX missions. But I do believe that that will be it for now. I will definitely try to do some uh, resource grinding off stream because there's so many things. So basically, we just gather up as many resources as possible to do these like upgrades. Maybe do the like prerequisites of like defeat a thousand enemies of the master cycle, defeat a thousand enemies of the flails. Do three more enemy weapon grabs with the flail. Just grab a bunch of resources. Try to, like, <laughs> count them to be like, oh, we need 20 of these, so we need more of that plus. <laughs> and just... Yeah, because I really love this game, and I kind of want to 100% it almost. Well, almost. <laughs> I don't think I will fully 100% it, but I will try to complete as much of it as possible, because I really like this game. I like that the, like, upgrades have little story tidbits from Twitch chat. It surprises me how much content Age of Calamity has. I love that. because, And also, here's the thing. It doesn't do what Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition does. Where in that game, oh, there's a lot of content, but it's a lot of grinding. It's a lot of samey content. It's a lot of here's a battle scenario. Here's a battle scenario. Here's a battle scenario. Here... While there are a lot of battle scenarios, they have, like, personality. Let me see. Winged Escort. It's down here somewhere. The so-called Knight. Where this one is, Ravali is skeptical of Link, whereas Sidon has never doubted the swordsman abilities. Link has unfortunately been dragged into the dispute. Is such a great premise for a side mission. Where it's almost like Ravali was talking bad about Link. Like, huh. <laughs> The so-called knight, I don't think he's all that great. And Sidon is just like, I will have you know that Link is a great warrior. And then they just kind of go back and forth, and then they're like, Link, why don't you settle it for us and prove you are a great warrior? And so Link just has to sigh and fight all of the Zora and Rito to s <laughs> just solve this issue between the two of them. Some of them are a little bit more simple, just like, oh, here's like a... Like, oh, train the ice. But it's, just, it's neat. I like the backstory. I like that we get more time with these characters. I like how much it incorporates Breath of the Wild stuff into the Dynasty Warriors format. It's just so good. From YouTube chat, Roto. I 100%ed it at launch, but that was before DLC, which I didn't happen to pick up. So effectively 100% it still. With the DLC, you like 200% it. <laughs> I myself beat the game... Well, I forget. I want to say that I streamed this a long, long time ago and didn't do the DLC because I didn't have it, I think. 
But I do know that I've never done the DLC. I don't know if I had it and didn't do it or didn't have it. But I do think I did the main story, but not the, like, a DLC. Which I definitely need to do, and this is a great opportunity for it. But yeah, I love Age of Calamity. I love that it uses the characters and story. I love that how fan fiction-y it is. Because this, honestly, the story feels like a fanfic. It's just so good. Because it's like time travel, fixing it, the champions survive, characters from the future come to the past, and King Rome lives and becomes a better father. And even during the course of the main of, like, Breath of the Wild Calamity events, he actually is softer and kinder to Zelda than he was in actual Breath of the Wild. All stuff that you would see if, like, oh, oh, I am a fanfic author. I want to redeem King Rome. What will I do? I will add in a bit of uh, Zelda's mother and have that tie in to her love of the, like, ancient tech and guardians and stuff. And she'll share that with King Rome and he'll soften before the calamity begins. So he's still kind of hard, but not, like, super mean about it. And then he survives because of that, like, bond between his daughter and his deceased wife and so he can apologize to her it's just it's so good it's so good from twitch chat truly the best fanfic this world has ever seen the best official fanfic <laughs> and from youtube chat roto i know people were off uh, about it being all great and having wanted to, the game to just end badly on everyone dying that could have been interesting, but at the same time, I find this to be even more interesting and just fulfilling. And I never understood that, since that doesn't wholly work for a game. I mean, it kind of could, kind of a Halo Reach kind of thing, where it's a prequel and you know that it ends with the fall of Reach and everybody dying, but for this kind of game, I don't think it would work for a Zelda game. I don't really, like, the only reason why, if you did play through this and be like, oh, everybody dies because it's Calamity, it, the only reason it would make sense is because it's a prequel. Because, like, oh, you're actually playing the Calamity, you're playing through this war, like, that could kind of make sense, but I vastly prefer the time travel aspect, so it changes things, and the characters, and shifts things slightly, and just introduces this great opportunity. It's just so good. But yes, like I said, I will try to do a decent amount of grinding so we can make more progress in the ancient labs, and do more of these upgrades, get a bunch of resources, and uh, see if we can max out a weapon and get good seals on it. Because next time, we probably won't finish. Next time, we might very well spend time finishing off all of the, like, uh, side quests and leveling up characters to do the EX memories, maybe. At least these EX memories. And then maybe do Hyrule Castle. It depends, because... We might do these four and more EX memories pop up that I might want to do. But, because I really like the Ravali and Teba. Teba. It's Teba. Not Teba. Not Teba. The two I thought it was. It's Teba. Because that is what Ravali says. <laughs> but the Ravali and Teba. Teba. My, 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 my pronunciation is beyond my comprehension. But this EX memory throwing Tulin in, having the interaction between them, having Ravali just still kind of have that haughty pride, but kind of toning it down to placate the child. It's good. Also, I think that's the first time we actually heard Tulin speak. And that was neat. <laughs> and he kind of mimicked Ravali. It's adorable. But I do believe that that shall be it for now. Age of Calamity is just an amazing game. Probably one of my favorites. <laughs> Hilariously, probably one of my favorite Zelda games because it has such a good story. It has such good characters. And I do like me some Zelda, 
but I also really like me a really good story. <laughs> but, yes, we've been going for about three and a half hours. We made a decent amount of progress, I'd say. We got to play as both King Rome and Koga. Great Plateau was an awesome story mission. The Rivali Korok Forest EX mission was great. <laughs> Just loving this game. But yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you want more from me, I try to stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. And next time, we will definitely come back and make more progress here. Even though I definitely intend to try and do Persona 3 Portable again at some point. I just need to get into a right headspace for it. Set a day aside. <laughs> from Twitch Chat, thanks for the stream. It was fun hanging out. Thank you for being here. Yes. After I beat Age of Calamity, I might... I, may, I very well may jump back to Ocarina of Time. I've, I've, it's been forever since I played Ocarina of Time, and I really want to do it, because I'm just in a Zelda mood. But, yeah, Age of Calamity is really good. And I will get to Tears of the Kingdom eventually, but I kind of want to jump back to uh, Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask, since those might be shorter. Well, definitely be shorter. They're not, a, they're not like, super-duper open world. But, yeah, we'll definitely check those out, maybe. But if you want other things from me, my link tree, with direct links to the link tree found in the descriptions, bios, and link places of the various sites, with it being linktr.ee slash neonisomings, has links to everything that I do. Like my edited content YouTube channel, my streaming YouTube channel and Twitch, depending on your preference of streaming platform, with all of these streams being uploaded to the streaming YouTube channel after the fact for quality purposes. And then... Else in my link tree is also links to sites and social medias that I upload art, like my little character in the corner or my in-slate art. And I also have some sites that I throw my writing onto. Definitely need to write more. Writing is fun. And finally, in my link tree is my Patreon, which is basically a giant donation bucket for the extraordinarily kind. But yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Just remember... Be you, be true, be happy, but most importantly, be kind, stay hydrated, and thank you for spending your time with me. Bye. Bye.